<clears throat> hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Alan Grubas from the hashtag Walk With Land channel. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. Okay, so let me just honor our subscribers. No, um, We are almost uh, 3,800 uh, subscribers, so 2,200 uh, subscribers more. We have the we will be having a uh, four thousand subscribers already. No, thank you, thank you very much. And I won't be shy in telling you that um, you can be able to help sustain to to sustain this channel. All right. So without much further ado, let us share what we will be discussing today, which is Republic Act one o one seventy three. No, we are now in chapter five or security of personal information. Okay, so if you have some comments, clarifications, or questions with regards to this, please, uh, please, uh, dito, what do you call that? Please, uh, just, uh, just PM, no, or just PM, no, just, uh, uh, just write your comment on the comment section. All right, section twenty, security of personal information. Okay, the personal information controller must implement reasonable and appropriate organizational, physical, and technical measures intended for the protection of personal information against any accidental or unlawful destruction, alteration, and disclosure, as well as against, uh, as well as against any other unlawful processing. Okay? Yeah. Letter B, the personal information controller shall implement reasonable... The, the, the personal information controller, guys, this is the person who is who will be or who is processing the information, okay? It shall implement reasonable and appropriate measures to protect personal information against natural dangers such as accidental loss or destruction and human dangers such as unlawful access, fraudulent misuse, unlawful destruction, alteration, and contamination, you know? Okay. Ano naman eh? From the word itself naman. The determination of the appropriate level of security under this section must take into account the nature of the personal information to be protected, the risk pre uh, presented by the processing, the size of the organization and complexity of its operation, current data privacy, best practices, and the cost of security implementation. Subject to guidelines as the Commission may issue from time to time, the measures implemented must include. Safeguards to protect its computer network against accidental, unlawful, or unauthorized usage or interference with or hindering of their functioning or availability. A security policy with respect to the processing of personal information. A process of identifying and accessing reasonably foreseeable vulnerabilities in its computer networks. What does it mean by vulnerabilities? This is the, uh, maybe this can be a known or unknown uh, weaknesses of a system or of a company and for taking preventive, corrective, and mitigating action against security incidents that can lead to a security breach. Le number four, regular monitoring for security breaches and in and, and the process for taking preventive, corrective, and mitigating action against security incidents that can lead to a security breach. The personal information controller must further ensure that third parties processing personal information on its behalf shall implement the security measures required by this provision. The employees, agents, or representatives of a personal information controller who are involved in the processing of personal information shall operate and hold personal information under strict confidentiality. If the personal information are not intended for public disclosure, the obligation shall continue even after leaving the public all service, transfer to another position, or upon termination of employment or contractual relations. So it's a continuous process. No? So uh, even though you are being transferred or uh, terminated, no? uh, you are still obligated to, um, to uphold. No? or to protect that particular um, process no, or that information. Letter F, the personal information controller shall, shall promptly notify the commission and affected data subjects. When we say commission, this is it refers to the National Privacy Commission and affected data subjects when sensitive personal information or other information that may, under the circumstances, be used to enable identity, uh, identity fraud are reasonably believed to have been acquired 
by an by an unauthorized person and the personal information controller or the commission believes but such an authorized acquisition is likely to give rise to a real risk of, of serious harm to any affected data subject. The notification shall at least describe the nature of the breach, the sensitive personal information possibly involved, <clears throat> the measure, and the measures taken by the entity to address the breach. Notification may be delayed only to the extent necessary to determine the scope of the breach. <clears throat> to prevent further disclosures or to restore reasonable integrity to the information and communication system. In evaluating if not notification is warranted, the commission may take into account compliance by the personal information controller with this section and existence of good faith in the acquisition of personal information. The commission may exempt a personal information controller from notification where in its reasonable judgment, such notification would not be in the public interest or in the interest of the affected data subjects. When we say data subject, it refers to the person. The commission may authorize postponement of notification where it may hinder the progress of criminal investigation related to a serious breach. So when it happens that the, uh, that, that particular uh, breach, okay, so ayan. all right, so the security the personal uh, we we said di ba, uh, at the beginning of this act that uh data privacy this is a constitutional right therefore it should be protected no uh the the personal information controller is the one who who should be protecting this particular information no even though he or she is not uh, already connected with the company no um ano pa rin siya no obligated pa rin siya no or if if there is a case against him or her okay uh, it will continuously um prosecute or yeah prosecute or maybe uh, the company could be uh, could be sued i uh, could could sue her or him also okay sige all right thank you very much next uh, ne next time chapter 7 Security of sensitive personal information in government. This is PII in the government. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow we will be discussing that. Chapter 7. Ay, sorry, sorry. Ano pala? Uh, chapter 5, Security of Information. Next time, tomorrow, we will be discussing about, about accountability for transfer of personal information okay yeah we will be discussing lots of of topics with regards to ra10173 and um thank you thank you very much to all and um hopefully you you are doing okay thank you thank you very much that's all for today thank you and see you uh tomorrow bye bye